Well, hi guys. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well. This is uh, part five to this double page spread I am doing. And it's time to work a little bit on the bottom. Now last time I did the fish and I finished his back um, little fins back here and all his little fins here. Do keep in mind that I am going to go over all of the things that I've colored in here with either stickles, some gel pens, or a Posca pen. And the sky is going to have stars in it, so don't forget that. And the bubbles are going to come up, so I might be splattering down there too with some white acrylic paint. Anyway, we're going to start down here, and we're going to do these teeny tiny little fingerling uh, pieces of seaweed or algae or whatever you want to call it. So what I will do is bring you down as close to it as I can without knocking everything off of my table. We're going to do these in, I know it's going to be an odd color, but we're going to do them in kind of a purple. Um, I have to bring some of this uh, pinkish purples down towards, <coughs> excuse me, the bottom of the page. And I'm going to be doing uh, these like um, pods or whatever you want to call these things, like the seed pods for the flowers. I'm going to be done in the same color tones as the flowers up above. So what I'm going to do with the um, algae areas is I'm going to use a uh, the black cherry or the black, I think black grape, because that is more of a purple tone. So we'll use that and we will use, hmm, I like the mulberry with it. We could probably use a pink. I'm going to test these out on a piece of paper. I always have a scrap piece of paper laying down here. So the uh, purple color is going to be this nice black grape. And we can either add in that, which it looks absolutely gorgeous. And that I think is going to look too much like the plant up above because that's the blush pink. So I don't want it to look uh, too much like the fish either. So if we use the black grape with a another pink tone in here, what do we have? How about pomegranate? We'll see how that looks. So here is our grape. And here is our pomegranate, which brings in a red tone. Hmm. Kind of liking that. Okay, so those were our two colors. <laughs> All right, so down here, I mean, we are going to have some blue in these. It's not going to bother me too much uh, because we're underwater and you know, is that going to be too close to that color though? Hmm, I don't know. If we do a little bit and add that, that is way dark. Okay, we are going to take that out. Keeping in mind, then that is going to be purple, so these two colors are going to be way too dark. So we will go ahead and see if we use um, those two colors. I might want to get a well, a lavender or something in with that. So we'll try. A lavender color with the um, mulberry. Maybe those two will work okay. 
that comes out is um, this color. And it might work a little better. Or we could just use the mulberry and add white to it. Let's see. We'll try on this little guy here. Add that. And hmm, try yellow. See how that looks. Maybe not. I don't know, this is what you call playing around with your colors. Hmm. We want it purple, so I am going to have to figure out a combination. Okay, we've decided that we're just going to use these two tones, and one of them is lilac, which is 95 six and the other one is lavender nine three four and i'm just going to kind of do what i uh, did here is kitty or uh, change them a couple of them this color a couple of them that color i just have to remember which one is the darker and which is the lighter okay so the darker one i want in the back which i did not do here but I will try to remember to do that and I'm just going to bring it up and maybe leave the tip white for now then figure out a highlighting color but just go back should have done this one a little bit anyway we're just going to go around and color all these and I might go back in this is one two there are a lot of these little buggers. So then I will just go in on the other ones that are in front. And this is just a little lighter. <laughs> Not much. But you can tell if you're looking at it. It's just a lighter shade. Just adding a different color in there. Well, boy, there's a lot of this. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not sure if you want to watch me do all this. I mean, we did spend quite a long time on the fish yesterday. Anyway, so basically that is what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to color them just like that. And then I will come back after all of these... <laughs> And it goes all the way across. All of these are colored in just like these little guys here. And I will be back. Okay, I've gotten all the little purple dudes done. And I thought they needed a little bit of shading towards the bottom. So I brought in uh, some red mahogany, which I know is an odd color, but it gives just enough brightness down at the bottom of the purple and I'm going to go ahead and put that in on the bottom of some of them and I kind of liked to bring down some of the black raspberry also so like the ones in the back back here I can add a little of that in and give it a little bit darker color so I'm going to go ahead and Go around and add these two colors in here also. This is just a very light touch on them. And we're just going to add them in here and there. And I guess I did miss a few of these little guys. But I'll be finding them. Some of these I'll do a lot, lot lighter and then some of them will be done pretty dark and I'm going to switch in between the two colors also and just see what we end up with I'm hoping it'll turn out nice <laughs> of course if you follow me in my videos you know that I just uh, wing it half the time just thought it might need a little brightness down at the 
but I'm giving it some shading so it doesn't look so, you know, one dimensional. I'll go back over the pink or the color I brought in with the purple so it tones it down a little if you notice that so it's not so bright red I guess and it just kind of blends it in there but it gives it that nice little kind of tone down at the bottom so basically I will go ahead and do this off camera again so you don't have to watch me do 700 little tiny pieces of foliage <laughs> I'll be back in a second before I start finishing all this, I'm also going to go over the tops of these in white. Just so that the top will stay a light color and just blend it in like that. So I'll do that at the same time while I am putting the dark down. I will blend the white tops in just like that okay so I'll see you when I'm done with all this okay so I've got little dudes all done so I'll give you a quick look at them some of them I did the uh, darker areas on and some of them I just left uh, light lavender and it goes all the way across okay and we are going to um, <sighs> look at these like, uh, I believe these little round areas here are rocks, I'm guessing. So those are going to be done in a brown color. I really don't know <laughs> what all this stuff down here is. <laughs> But I'm going to pretend that these are like the flower but, um, seeds or the seed pods for the lily pads. So they're going to be done in the same colors. The tops uh, of these are going to be done as the flowers are done and then the bottoms can be done in the greens. And I don't know about the gems yet. I think they should probably be done in either uh, blues or blues and pinks. So I have to bring some of this blue uh, that the dragonflies are down into this area. And the rest of these little uh, things, I don't... These are going to have to be done. <laughs> I'm going to do these... I think now, and I'm going to do these in um, the blue, I think. So indigo blue and the uh, powder blue. Yeah, and we're just going to go um, kind of a quick, go around it in the blue and bring that towards the center. And there are a few of these, and I'm going to do them all the same way. Then I'm going to, I might have to bring a little bit more blue into that. Just kind of bring it in. And then I will go with the powder blue and bring that in. And then in the very, very center of that, the white. And then we get kind of this ball shape. We'll go around the edge a little bit more with the darker blue and bring it in a little. And that's how I'll do all those. And there seem to be quite a few of those in this just general area here. And then 
not all of these are the same, but if I look at them close enough, well, these are the open ones, and then there are some that are closed. And I'm going to do all the open ones the same way. And that'll be done the same way as the flowers. So we do the blush pink. And then the... Uh, so we'll, we'll do one here. Do the pink up here. And kind of over the edge a little bit. So it kind of comes down into this area. And then we will get the clay rose which I think needs to be sharpened, but finding my sharpener now is going to be a problem. Oops. I really need to get one of those to have a crank on it. This one I lose all the time. Okay, the clay rose is going to go right under here. And a little up here. And then we will get the uh, mulberry, I believe it was. Or was it the. Um, was it? Oh my God, mahogany red. That was it. And we will go up in this area and down on the side here. down in this hole and then we will bring the pink back up from the bottom and blend it in there I believe this is the bottom part of that Then we'll bring in a little of the, and I believe it was the black raspberry, and just kind of around the highlighting, a little heavier here. Bring some of that up from the bottom too, just around this gem. Real light hand on that. So the pink will show through it. A little darker down at the bottom here. Trace over the little lines here. Then bring some in from the sides. And then we'll just use a little white. I seem to be using a lot of white in this picture. <laughs> Could blend this in a little. Bring this over. Bring a little of it down into the little flower part and up on the top where it glows. Tiny bit down here. So basically, that is what they're going to look like. And a little, um, little black cherry or raspberry on the sides, just a little bit more, just so they stand out a little from the uh, uh, whatever you call it, the purple dudes that I put up here. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. The seaweed little blobs. So that's what that will look like. I'll shade it in a little bit better. but So all of those guys will be like that. 
so we have blue ones and we have pink ones. And then if there's a different one here, I mean, we have these that are like pearls. And I'm going to just go over those with um, a stickles and make them shiny. So these are rocks. They're going to be brown. Or they could be pearls for that matter. I'm looking at the bottom. <laughs> Oh boy, I think they're, these are the pearls and the, those are awfully big if they are pearls, so I'm going to color them in as rocks, so I'm going to pick some colors out for that. Okay, I've gone ahead and done the little spheres here, and I'm going to go over the lines just a little bit because there's white, and of course it picks it up a little bit. And I decided on the uh, little thing I did here that it blended too much with the little seaweedy things that are pink purple here. So I have to come up with a different color. And before I start doing those, I think probably the gems are something I'm going to have to work on. Uh, first I might go over that with something else so they're kind of like diamonds and diamonds are kind of a light um, reflecting item but they're also very light in color and I don't really want to do them in white, so I'm thinking a very soft blue, which is my powder blue, would probably, um, let's see, hmm. I'll just start with this one. Put a little light blue down here in some of the reflective places. And if you notice, this top up here is already uh, probably from moving my hand around has gotten a little blue on it. So we're going to go kind of in a choppy area. Blue, 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 a blue over here, and then probably a blue here. Then we will get out a, uh, because I had done the plant life up here in uh, purple, we're going to get the lavender and we're going to very, very lightly put that in in some areas. The diamond will always pick up some of the colors that are around it. Okay, so those are two colors. We're going to add in a little of the canary yellow to bring down some of the green areas. So just kind of gently bring it in on some points. Okay. Now, by no means am I any <laughs> where near anybody else who can do these gems. I am just putting down some color and adding some shades in here. Okay, people do these. Please go find someone else's video on that. <laughs> I am not good at this. I admit that part immensely. What I am going to do after I get it colored in this kind of uh, pattern is I'm going to add on some of these uh, sparkles okay so when I get it done the sparkles will go on and then I will put on some of the Posca which is the acrylic white paint and I will put like little stars on them like they're sparkling and that's how I do my gems it's just the way it is <laughs> I'm gonna take some white and I'm just going to 
blend the colors in together a little bit. Okay, leaving the white areas white and the pinks and everything coming through. I'm going to add just a little bit of the indigo blue. Just to give it a reflection of what is next to it and the water on the top. Okay. Blend that in just a bit. And there I have a gem. And that's just how I'm going to color all of them. There's one on this side. So there's one, two, three. Only three more? Hmm. Huh. Well, I guess I could do those on camera then. I'm just going to do them the exact same way here and there in with color. So we're going to do all of the um, light blue parts first. And there's one big one hiding over here. And then I'll go in with the yellowish areas. On all of them. And the pink, or yeah, we're we'll going with the pink. Should probably go in with a hot pink or a, a neon pink since it's supposed to be shiny. So I'll throw in some neon pink. I'll add some of that in here too. And the last one over here. Now this neon pink is a scholar pencil. It's one of the Prisma scholars. I like the neon colors, but I have not gotten a neon color in the Prisma premieres, and I don't mind mixing my colors up at all. So this is the lavender, and I'm just going to add it in next to the pink. Got some <laughs> rainbow gems going on, but they look good. Good enough for me. And please feel free. I, I was not joking when I said if you want your gems to look more real, um, there are a lot of gem tutorials out there. I'm just doing a a coloring. <laughs> okay, then we just gonna give them a nice blend of color here. I'm gonna put a little bit more of the um, dark blue in there. Just to give it some Brightness. Mm 
Oh, I hope I'm in focus. Or in camera, I should say. Camera does its own focusing, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, and then this little guy over here. Okay, and like I said, I'm not going to worry about those too much because the stickles are going on top and so is the Posca pen, so they don't have to blend as nicely as everything else did. But that gives me my color spots. Okay, I've decided I'd go ahead and do the rocks, and this is chocolate. And I'm just going to go over the edges in the chocolate color. Not too dark, but dark enough. And bring it in from the sides. This is the shadow, so I'm going to go a little darker there because it's rock in front of it. And just bring the color in very lightly. I'll be putting another coat of something on here. I just want to get some of the brown down because I still haven't figured out these little seed pods and they're attached to a lot of all this stuff so I don't want to make it you know a color that is already right next to it <laughs> so I'm gonna do those last I think and just put down the rest of the color here Then you get into these like areas here, and I'm gonna guess that's a rock underneath this one because I'm gonna make it one and just put in the brown. So, kind of like that. And these are all over the place, so. Just gonna lightly color them in. So I know where the rocks are. So there are four there. There's two over on this side. I'll lose my pencil sharpener, so move that out of the way. And then this one up here, this one here, behind those. That's our little pile, and then we have some down here. And I'm going to guess this is going to be one over here. If it isn't, it's going to be now. <laughs> and I missed a little purple dude here. So I have to fill him in. And then I'm going to guess this is one under him. Okay. 
And I have to get the lavender and color those guys in before I forget. Don't want to forget. <laughs> okay, so we've got rock, 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 rock. And I think underneath his chinny chin chin here is another one. Okay, so then we just follow our way across and go ahead and make this one here. Go ahead and put some brown in here. I don't know if this is a rock or what, but I'm going to pretend it's something that's brown. Maybe it's sand. Maybe there's a rock behind there. I don't know. That I am going to make a pearl, and there could be a rock back here, so I'm going to go ahead and make this dark brown. And this area over here. Okay. Then we go to this side. And we're going to have. Um, I'm going to just make these. The rocks too. And this is all done in a chocolate pencil. too. <laughs> okay, so we have those done in a light coating of brown. We'll probably do a couple of coats and then a white on the inside of that. Got something under here. Okay, so then I'm still stuck with these little pods. These are nowhere near done, so I just wanted to get brown on them. So all the ones that are left are these guys. So they can't blend with purple. They can't blend with brown. And I really don't want them all in blue. <laughs> so I'll just kind of work on these little guys until I can figure out what to do with the other ones. There seems to be enough of them, and they are kind of two different types. So I'm not sure 
how I'm going to mess with them. So I will think about it and I'll get back. Okay, I'm back with a little bit more on the rocks. So this is Sand PC940. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me, and I'm just going to um, kind of burnish the colors and bring them in. Kind of leaving a little bit of the highlight, but just going into the chocolate and going over it with a little pressure to blend it in. And then leaving a little space there very lightly. So the rocks have kind of a curve. And that is what I'm going to do on all of those. Bringing the color up towards the center of all of them. But pushing really hard on the darkest spots and then just bringing it up. So our rocks are going to have some nice coloring to them. And they're all going to be a little bit different because all the rocks are. And that just brings the colors nicely together. It's a little lighter than the okra that I thought I was going to use, but I like the sand better. Yeah, it's at the bottom of the water and sand just sounds nicer, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so that is how I'm going to finish off all the rocks. So I just thought I'd come back and show you that before um, I get started on the um, last little bits. So I'll go ahead and finish up all the rocks and then I will come back. Okay, there we go. I've decided on the little pods. I'm not even sure what they are, but I'm going to do... Uh, kind of blend them in with the rocks a little bit since I don't know what they are. So we're using the same chocolate brown and there's some lines here and we're just going to go underneath these little scallop things and down on the sides and around the base, as much of the base as we can find here. And like we did with the rocks. Bring the brown up. Go in with the sand and blend it up and blend this down. Kind of the same way we did uh, the rocks, like I said. like that. I'll spend a little more time blending those two together. And on the, um, the fluff here, this is blue, indigo blue. We're going to go down and around these. Around the edges. And down in here, okay. Then we're going to go in with the powder blue and blend those two colors, pull that down and across to the back, and then blend. The blue coming up and then darken again the area just in here kind of bring it up so it looks like a hollow hole darken those corners again just like that so that they will be 
kind of blend it in with the rocks a little bit more. But it'll also bring the blue down. from the dragonflies and kind of match the blue um, whatever these things on the side are. So that is how I'm going to finish those up. And when I get done with those, that'll be everything down here at the bottom. And then I will come back and show you how I put Posca and glitter on the page. Okay guys, so that's what the bottom looks like. All finished. Fishies done except for the um, glitter pens and the stickles and Posca that I'm going to be putting on the picture. So as now, this is what it looks like. Okay. And like I said, I'm going to do some splattering up at the top and probably down in here where the bubbles are to give it a little bit more um, sorry about the stuff that's on it <laughs> uh, bubbles down in the bottom and then stars up at the top type area it's actually darker than it looks like if I hold it like that got too much light going on one side anyway so um, I'm going to go ahead and do the splattering off camera and I just do that with a little pile of white acrylic on my desk, a paintbrush, a tiny bit of water and I just tap the paintbrush. You've seen me do it on other videos and it'll splatter in areas. And I said that I was going to use uh, some glitter pens. Um, I would either use the Jelly Rolls or this Gel Roller from Pro Mark. It's got an X on it, so I'm going to read that. Try to block everything else out in the background. There we go. Pro Marks. It's EFX. I'm not sure. I got these like five years ago. I make cards and I used them for making cards with. These are the Kelly Art Jelly Roll Pens that I will also be using. And you've seen the Posca marker that I use all the time and of course the stickles that are from Ranger and uh, I will be putting those on the diamonds down here the gems and probably on his crown um, it'll end up probably all over the place at the end of the video since this is so long and I don't want to make a part six I will show you the finished pages so at the end of this video here, you will see the finished product. I want to thank you all for sticking with me for five of these <laughs> parts. Uh, this was a labor of, I'm going to say, kindness towards um, a very nice person who asked me to do a buddy color with her. And I let her pick the page. And this is the one she wanted to do. So I have finished mine. And... I hope she has a lot of fun doing hers too. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you have a great day. If you like these type of videos, thumbs up. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you like. Ring the bell if you want notifications. Have a great day everybody. Bye now. Okay, I've come to show you the glitter on it that I put on. So I'm going to sparkle it a little. The gems down at the bottom are all glittery with some sparkles. This fish on this side of the page has got silver stickles on him. The center of the flowers has stickles in it and the dragonfly wings. On this side the water beetles. Of course the kingfish has got to have gold glitter on him. All of the uh, little buds down here have got glitter on them also and of course the dragonfly and the inside of the flowers on the top then I'll leave a still picture for you